For a simple WordPress website, this is how a normal heading or typography looks like. But in this video, we are going to learn how we can have some advanced typography for our WordPress website so that we can create some amazing looking headings and various other texts. And this is what we can create. So we are going to use the plus blocks for Gutenberg and in this we have advanced typography and with this we can spice up our headings and various texts on our WordPress website which will look something like this. So we can have a text with some stroke outline or maybe we can have a vertical text like this. Maybe you want to create some text shadows or maybe you want to create some blur effect which will go off once you mouse over on this. Or maybe you want to create this amazing effect of text blend which looks something like this with mark you. Or maybe you want to show an image as a tooltip or a highlight with the text which will look something like this. Or maybe you can use this advanced typography to create a full screen menu like this one. Or maybe you can spice up your banner headings like this one. Along with that you can also create some circular or curved text like this. Or maybe you can create my favorite one that is knockout text in which you can have an image in the background and the text will be displayed above that. So if all that looks amazing and you also want to spice up the typography of various elements on your WordPress website, then hop in and I'll show you everything step by step. My name is Ankit Sharma from the team Pose Myth. And if you want to deep dive in the world of WordPress using Gutenberg, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So let's dive in in our WordPress backend and see how this advanced typography works. So here we are in our WordPress. plugin section here we have the plus add-ons for blog editor free as well as the pro version and once we have installed both of these plugins we can now go to plus settings and here we need to go to plus blocks and let's search for advanced typography and this is the advanced typography block that we are going to use to create these amazing looking headings and text and as you can see it's part of the pro plan of this plugin so make sure you get the pro version and once you get that, make sure you turn this block on and then click on save. So let's go ahead and create a page and see how this advanced typography works. So here we have a sample page and we have this big banner here. And we have a simple text in this and we have a call to action button. So above this text and here we will start typing TP advanced so this is a TP advanced typography block. Let's add it here. And on the right hand side, we have the settings for this block. So the first option is normal or we can choose multiple. So we are going to take a look at multiple in just a few minutes. First, we are going to cover normal. So let's select that. And for the content, we can type in our content here. So let's say we just paste this text and align this in center. Now after this, we have all these settings like text direction, circular text, background blend mode, knockout text and all the other things. But before that, let's go ahead and give it some styling in color and font. So we go to style and in typography, let's select Poppins as font. We will select weight as 900 and maybe 90 as font size. And for the text color, maybe we can go with this light shade of brown. Let's update this here. And this is how it looks in the front end. Nothing special as of now. Let's go back in settings and let's spice up this heading. Let's jump into the first setting that is text direction. So using this advanced typography, we can change the direction of this text. So if we click on this, here we have vertical text option which is right now set on normal so that we can have this normal horizontal text. If we go ahead and select left to right, so this is going to turn this text vertical from left to right or we can choose right to left. So this is how it's going to look. 
After this, we have vertical letters. So if we turn this on, this will actually turn the letters to 90 degrees. And below this, you can change this vertical direction, which is right now set on initial. You can play around with right to left or left to right. Now this text is pretty huge, so this setting is not a good fit for this design. But you can go ahead and create designs like this one. Or maybe you can create some banner which will have text like this one. And above all, the best part is if you want to copy this particular section for your WordPress website, for your website, all you have to do is just click on this copy button from here. And then come back here in your WordPress editor. So first, let me just turn this vertical text back to normal. And if we go down at the very bottom of this page, in order to paste the section that we have just copied, all you have to do is just click on this plus paste that we see on the very top. And as soon as you hit that button, you will see that the complete section is now copied on our website with our advanced typography block here. And for this one, you can now play around with text direction or various other styles. So here in the text direction, you can see the vertical text, which is right now set to left to right. Or you can turn the letters to vertical, which will look something like this. So we need to play around with some paddings and line height. And you can also play around with the direction as well. So this is how we can use the text direction. Now let's jump on to the next style that is circular text. So if we click here, here we have an option for circular text, which we can turn on. And now you can see the text is in circular form. So if we scroll down a little bit, we can go ahead and increase or decrease the radius. So this is how it's going to look. So you can play around with that. And after this, we have reverse direction, which means that if we turn this on, it's going to reverse the direction of rotation. After this, we have auto responsive, which will allow us to have a responsive text in the mobile as well. So I will keep the reverse direction off. And if we update this here and let's refresh the front end. So now you can see it's already looking pretty amazing as compared to a normal heading. So this is how we can create a circle text. So I will keep this off right now. Now the next typography style is background blend mode. If we click on this, we have the blend mode, which we can turn on. And now we have various variation for this blend mode. So here you can play around which one looks best as per your design. So depending upon what image you are using in the background or what kind of style you want, this is how you can use the background blend mode. But in order to get the best out of this background blend mode, it's better we mix this with some outlining of the text. And for that, we need to go to style. And here we have stroke or fill. So here, if we turn this option on, here we have the stroke width, which we can increase or decrease. And here we can play around with the stroke color. So maybe we can keep it on this yellow shade. And for the fill color, maybe we can turn this to black. So this is how it's going to look. So if we update this here and refresh our front end, so this is how the blend mode looks like. But let's go ahead and add one more effect in this blend mode. We come back here in our page editor and here we have a mark you option. So here, if we turn this option on, now this will add a mark you for our advanced typography block. And here you can play around with the settings for this mark you. Here the type is set to default. We can change the direction from left to right. And you can play around with the loop, scroll amount, animation duration or mark you text width. So you can play around with all of that. So for the text, I will keep it blank so that it will keep the mark you text at 100%. So now if we update this here and refresh our front end, so now you can see we have a text with the blend mode and we have an outline for the text and we have added a mark you effect as well. So let me just turn this mark you off. Let's turn off the blend mode. And if in the style, let me just turn off the color stroke as well. So we are back with the normal heading. And after this, we will go to knockout text. So here in the knockout text, 
So in this, we have an option to turn it on. And now we can see that it's gone. And right now we cannot see our text. So for that, we can add a background color or a background image. So for now, if we choose background color, it's going to add a color here. But the best way to use this is to add a background image. So here, if we click on insert, let's say we choose this image. So now you see we have an image in the background of this text. Once again, in order to highlight this text, we can come back here in style. And once again, we can go to stroke and fill. And for the fill color, we can reset it. And for the stroke color, maybe we can choose white and we can decrease the opacity a little bit. And for the stroke width, maybe we can choose two pixel only. So now we have a static image in the background of our text. Let's update this and refresh it in our front end. So this is how our heading will look like with a static image. Now in order to have a moving background behind this text, we can add a GIF. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's come back in our editor and here for the knockout text, we will change our image. So let's select this GIF image here. And this is how it looks with a moving background GIF image. Again, let's update this and refresh our front end. So now we have a moving background behind our text. So this is how we can use the knockout text effect. For now, let's turn this off and go to style and turn off our stroke fill as well. Now let's go ahead and try on hover image reveal in which we will be able to show an image once we bring our mouse over this text. So let's click on this and let's turn this on. Here is an image which we want to reveal once we mouse over on this text. So let's say we choose this one and here let's update this and see how it looks in the front end. So here is our text with advanced typography block. And as soon as we bring mouse on this text, we can see our image here. So here you can play around with these styles and see which one works best for you. For example, if we select this style 5 and update this here and refresh our front end. And as soon as we bring our mouse over to this text and this time, this is how it's going to look. So you can play around with these styles and see which one works best for your design. So this is how we can use this image reveal effect. So we will turn this off now. And we have already covered mark you so we can add mark you effect for our text. So depending upon your website design, you can choose any type of advanced typography from here. And now if we go in the style section, here we have already covered how we can use stroke and fill. Now let's go ahead and check advanced underline. So if we click here, we have an option for underline type. So we can choose classic, which will look something like this. So here the line type is overline. We can choose underline as normal or maybe we can choose line through and we can set the style of this line. So here we can choose dotted, dashed or wavy. So this is how it's going to look and we can change the color of this line as well. And we can change that on hover as well. So maybe on the hover, we want nothing. So on the hover, we can see that this line is gone. Now after classic, we can also choose overlay. We have some various styles for this. So for the style two, this is how it's going to look. And for the style three, this is how it's going to look. And you can play around with various styles here. And after this, we have an option for line height. So we can play around with the line height here. And we can also change the background. So here we can change the color of this line. Or maybe you want to add some gradient. So you can do that from here. So this is how it's going to look. So let's update this here. And if we refresh our front end. So here we have the underline effect. And if we bring our mouse on this text. So this is how the underline style will work. This one is all about the normal text. Now, if we go ahead and choose multiple, we now have an option to add multiple text segments. So here, if we choose multiple, we now have our content part. So if we click here, 
we can enter our text so let's say we enter adventure in one content block and we add another text and for this one so now we have divided our heading into two parts and now we can individually do all the advanced typography in this so here if we select the first one we can separately link this to a page or maybe we can play or maybe we can play around with our advanced typography options like before so now we can have a single line text but we can define different advanced typography styling for individual words just like we did here in this banner here we have divided this title into four advanced typography blocks so let me just show you how this one is working so let's go ahead and copy this from here and now let's go ahead and paste it here so we will choose our plus paste option and here you can see we have divided the complete word into two and we have given separate style to both of them in the same way if we click here we have a separate advanced typography block and again divided into two so that we can style it differently so now we can go back on our heading here and for the first one we can play around with various settings so maybe we can have a stroke or fill effect or maybe we can choose the blend mode like this or maybe we can combine this with our stroke as well or maybe we can have a knockout text where we can add some color or maybe gif or normal image or maybe we can add image reveal as well or maybe we can add some mark you effect but apart from normal in this we have continuous animation option so if we turn this on here we can choose any animation effect that we want to choose and this will be a continuous animation for this text part so here if we can select this so if we choose tossing or pulse which is much more visible so this is how it's going to look and as we have already seen we can add advanced underline as well below this we have normal typography that we can set for this text and same we can do for the second part of our text so if we select this here maybe we can choose stroke and fill and here maybe we can choose three pixel and stroke color will be dark brown maybe a light shade of brown and the fill color maybe we can choose a dark brown color so depending upon your design you can choose whichever suits best and let's update this here and if we refresh this in the front end this is how it looks we have a single line text which we have divided into two parts and both of them got different styling once again in the end you can always visit our advanced typography page which we will link in the video description below and you can go ahead and check out various examples that we have already created and you can take inspiration from that and even copy any of this design and use that on your website so this is how easy it is to use advanced typography from the plus add-ons for gutenberg and create some advanced looking headings and various text on your wordpress website so if you like this video then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community so that they can also spice up their wordpress website design so that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next video